This is Pharaoh's Visor of dsdatabase.org, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Amazon Kindle 3. We've already reviewed the Amazon Kindle DX, so for those of you that don't know, the Amazon Kindle is an ebook reader that is designed mainly for reading books. The Amazon Kindle 3 is currently being sold at a $139 for the Wi-Fi edition, while the free 3G version is being sold at a $189. Previously, the Kindle DX reviewed was compared to a size of a magazine, whereas the Kindle 3 sits comfortably under the size of a regular paperback book. As you can see from this Harry Potter book I have here, it is a the Harry Potter book is a little wider and a little taller and of course significantly thicker. The Kindle 3 is also about the same weight as the Harry Potter book and as in this compact package we have significant improvements over the Kindle 2. The two main improvements that are advertised are of course the Wi-Fi connection that is available on the cheaper version and the Wi-Fi connection on the 3G model. There is also the new Pearl e-ink screen which is supposed to have a whiter background and darker text and a faster refresh rate. Now, upon usage, I've noticed that the background isn't that much whiter than the previous Kindles. However, the black is obviously blacker. This device is available in both black and white, though I think black or graphite is significantly more popular. Now, I wanted to reiterate from my past review that these are ebook reading devices and though it has a 3G connection, a web browser and so on, it is mainly for reading and for those of you that don't read, you should probably look elsewhere for a device for your needs. As you can see, the device, the 6 inch screen shows quite a few text quite a bit of text and instead of like in the Kindle 2 there is several different fonts to be chosen. Now this came with the Kindle 2 and could not be changed unless you used a font hack whereas the Kindle 2 now has the option of this and my personal favorite the Sans Serif. Just like the Kindle DX I had you can always change a font size to accommodate your needs and there's line spacing, words per line and there's even a neat feature that uses a robotic male or female voice to read to you. I actually find it headache inducing but I heard that some people actually use this feature quite comfortably. Now the other reason I bought a Kindle early on was for PDFs. However, on the Kindle 2, it was rather atrocious, while the Kindle DX was a little large and expensive. So, the Kindle 3 has made some improvements, and I wanted to show you guys these music scores. And previously on the Kindle 2, it was a little blurry, so it was hard to read, whereas now it is a lot sharper though this video isn't really doing it justice, but even from a distance, it looks, looks a lot clearer. Furthermore, if your PDF document is text-based, all the extra features of the Kindle are fully available, so taking notes, begin typing to create a note, or the dictionary, is available. The interesting thing is that this PDF is actually an image rather than, than PDF with text. So all of this browsing is probably through a built-in OCR software. Now the problem is that when the font is small 
it isn't exactly accurate. However, when the the location is not exactly accurate. So you would be hovering over one word and it would give you the definition of another. However, when you move when you zoom in or flip the orientation, the it is accurate again. So I found this very useful for reading through some class notes and class articles. Now the interesting thing is that it also has games now. The Kindle has games. Now they're not exactly Need for Speed or Halo, however they are enough to keep you entertained. So here's Shuffle Row where you, there's a line of letters and you want to create as many words as you can. And you can see that there are moving bars and it looks nice. There's 16 shades of gray and the resolution is 800 by 600, so they do have some space to work with. Now, the other interesting thing is, hang on, let me get the orientation right again. The other interesting thing is that the Kindle 3 now has a usable web browser to take advantage of the free 3G for those who paid the extra money. And it is very usable now. As you can see, this is Yahoo, and it generally works better when you flip the screen. So you have a closer to the computer, closer to a computer resolution. So as you can see, you can move up and down with the page buttons, whereas you can, it looks for certain links when you use the up and down arrow buttons. Again, the speed on the 3G is actually surprisingly good and even better if you're using Wi-Fi. Now the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the issue of reading manga. Now, DS Database is a gaming forum, so not a whole lot of readers out there. And you can see that manga is displayed pretty sharp. Again, this video isn't doing it much justice. But it is a very good manga reader. As you can see, all the text is very readable, even the small ones. And there's a handy full screen mode. And there we go. The images are nice and clear. Although it's 16 shades of gray, so sometimes it's a little off. But it looks pretty good for the most part. Anyways. This is the Amazon Kindle 3G. If any of you guys are interested or have any more questions, feel free to email me or contact me through my website. Thank you.